what is it that you do? Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a spring home tour of our kitchen area and I'm so excited to share some of the changes that I've made in here with you all. I mentioned in my last video that I've kind of transitioned our style a little bit over the last year and our kitchen was the latest room to kind of receive a few changes. So I'm excited to share that with you all and I hope you enjoy the video. Our counter stools are a new addition to the kitchen, relatively new anyway. I did share about them on Instagram a while back. I can't remember if I've shared them here, but you may have spotted them in a previous video. Anyway, they are the perfect counter stool for our classic farmhouse kitchen. They definitely bring that shaker style element to our kitchen, which is definitely one of my goals when we created this space. Our new fruit bowl that we keep here on the island is from the Studio McGee line at Target. It was one of their spring um, items that came out and I just love it. I feel like it brings a lot of texture to our space and I like the contrast between the lighter um, wood bowl and then our darker wood countertop. I like to combine decorative pieces with functional pieces and if it can be decorative and functional at the same time, that's even better for me. I'm a big fan of keeping you know, our home very simple and classic and neutral. I know that's definitely not for everyone, but I just feel like when my home is clutter free, my mind is clutter free, the two go hand in hand for me. And so the more simple I can keep our home, the better. And I feel like we all as a family are able to enjoy our space and enjoy each other more in a simplified, clutter-free home. I've been adding a lot more antique brass and gold pieces to our home lately, and I'm really, really loving it. It just adds so much warmth and character, and it really adds to that timeless look and feel that I'm going for in our farmhouse. And I've really struggled with learning how to sort of blend um, different metals and different finishes, but it's definitely possible. As I mentioned in my last video, it's something I'm still working on, but you'll start to notice as we go on, there are a lot more of those antique brass and gold pieces throughout the house. I decided to go with an antique brass knob on the island and it's kind of unexpected because originally I was going to go with the same wood knobs that I chose for the rest of the kitchen cabinets, but I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different and kind of make this area of our kitchen pop a little bit, but not in like a super bold way. Um, and so I felt like this was a great solution to that. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but now that it's all put together, I really, really love it. And I feel like it's definitely, like I said, unexpected, but I think it definitely works. I feel like one of the things that makes an all white um, or all neutral kitchen or any space for that matter work is when you add in plenty of wood tones and different textures. And I really feel like that that um, brings about the interest and the warmth that is needed in an all white space. So for our kitchen, we tried to um, achieve that by incorporating a lot of like baskets, the wood cutting board, um, adding lots of texture through the backsplash and the beadboard. I'm a big fan of keeping things out that you're gonna be using regularly, but that doesn't mean it has to be unattractive. You can definitely leave your dish soap and hand soap and kitchen sprays and things out by um, putting them in prettier containers. So I keep my thieves cleaner in a really pretty amber glass spray bottle, and I don't mind that sitting out on my counter. Another thing we like to keep in our kitchen is some kind of greenery. I keep a couple of you know plants here and there, but in the spring and summer especially, I love to clip fresh blooms and keep them on the counter. It just makes for a more cheerful space. I sort of don't have that much to choose from right now, but I was able to find a few clippings from a vine that was growing outside, but definitely looking forward to all of those summer blooms. 
Another change to our kitchen is this runner. I wish the color was more true on camera, but in person it's a lot darker. The colors are much more uh, rich and it's just not picking up on camera, but it's definitely another element that brings warmth to this all white kitchen. I guess in a way this is kind of a before video of our windows so that's a look at our current windows we have in the kitchen i just got done taking all of the blinds down in the house and it definitely feels so much more open i cannot wait until the new windows are here and we can do away with the blinds for good um, but for now we're still waiting they're supposed to be here this week and so our contractor said as soon as they arrive he will be back and they will start putting them in so i can't wait to share that with you all. Um, so I'm kind of glad I'm doing this video. This will be a nice before of the windows. I mentioned this decorator's uh, paper in a previous video, but it's still hanging. We're still loving it. It's definitely a focal point of our kitchen, so I thought I would mention it again. It was an Amazon find, and it's just like rolled up paper, so you can frame it if you want, but I just hung it on the wall with some poster strips. Out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. In keeping with the theme of all things simplified and decluttered, I just went with a simple plant for the middle of the kitchen table. I like having something that I don't have to move every time we want to sit down at the table, something that's kind of low. So, you know, as you're looking across the table to someone else, you're not having to kind of dodge the centerpiece. And it's really nice to have something simple that I don't have to move every time we sit down for a meal. The lamps were a recent DIY project. I actually shared a video last week on those, so I will put that here on the video so you can easily click on that if you're interested to see how I made those. But basically, I just took two older lamps that I had already and gave them a fresh coat of like a concrete overlay. And then I used rub and buff to achieve that uh, kind of aged brass look on the metal. And I really love the way it kind of transformed this area and I really didn't have to spend all that much money to do it. In case you're interested in knowing where something is from that I've mentioned today or shared in this video, I will leave as many links as possible down in the description box of this video. But of course, if there's something that I've left out or forget to mention, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I hope that by the next time I make a video, I will have a window update for you all and I'll be able to share at least a couple of the new windows. We'll see. Um, but thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. We can look back someday.